Julie Kremer. And I'm Deanne DuPont. We're co-directors of the Food Recovery Project. Which is a project of the Minuteman Parent Association of Minuteman High School and also of Sustainable Arlington, which is a subcommittee of the town of Arlington and also a chapter of the Massachusetts Climate Action Network. And what the Food Recovery Project is, is we recover food that for the most part would have otherwise been thrown away and we redistribute it to organizations or people in need. And we work with Trader Joe's, Panera, Bread, and Starbucks. So it's produce, both fruits and vegetables. Sometimes there's meat. Sometimes mm -hmm. they'll we'll have dairy or eggs and bread. Basically, uh, each night we pick up at four, the most would be four Panera Bread locations in uh, Lexington, Woburn, Burlington, and Fresh Pond now. And each morning we go to Trader Joe's. It's usually us. Sometimes we have a volunteer. So then we then the ne that next day distribute both the bread and the food. So we work with uh, several food pantries. We also work with the Arlington Housing Authority. We also work with various other organizations for smaller deliveries, such as the Arlington Boys and Girls Club. We're now working with the town of Arlington with their kids care program. We also, what we've started doing in the past what, couple of months is working with nonprofits to provide them pastries and desserts for events conferences, meetings, so that therefore they don't have to purchase desserts and such for their meeting and it gives them more funding for their program. We've collected over 7,000 boxes since we began. We estimate the value of that to be about 500,000. The Minuteman Parent Association does an annual fundraiser called Comedy Night. And last March of 2012, we were, um, Deanne had already put in an order to Lexington, which was a new Panera at the time. I don't think they were open, but maybe a month or so. Yeah, okay, just a few months. And um, to give us a donation so that we could use the pastries for dessert and put to use the bread. Well, when I picked up the bread, I learned that they didn't have anybody picking up on the other nights and it was being trashed. So it's kind of like a fire alarm. <laughs> I said to Deanne, this, we can't do this. Mm -hmm. And she and I are of like minds about food being tossed when there are people who need it. So that is how it began. As, as our volume of bread increased, before we even got into Trader Joe's, we were sort of like, we need to move this bread because what do you do with all of it? And you know, even those who need it can only use so much. So I guess we started with the Arlington Housing Authorities and Arlington Food Pantry yeah. and started looking for more and that's also when I heard the interview on NPR with Wick Sloan from Bunker Hill Community College. So, so Wick was basically explaining on NPR how the, that most of the population doesn't understand, especially at community college, that students are hungry. Um, students in community college are generally working a part or full-time job Many have families at home. Many are in between jobs looking for new employment because they've lost employment or need new training. Um, and there's just not enough money. So if you're going to have to get a pass to travel on the T, and if you're going to pay for school and take care of your family, they're hungry. And they would come to school hungry. And the teachers um, and the professors were giving them breakfast in the morning or giving them a food card to pick something up because you know, they were so hungry and trying to concentrate in school and they still had a family at home or whatever. So I called or emailed them, whatever I did, and just said, you know, we have this, will this work? And they were like, yes, yes, yes.
Hi, my name is Charlotte Milan. I'm the recycling coordinator for the town of Arlington and I work in the Department of Public Works. So the Minuteman Food Recovery Project is among the kind of activities that we need to be doing more of in the town of Arlington. It's a great experiment in how to move usable food from a producer where there's, where there's too much food to uh, institutions like food pantries and um, food uh, hunger relief programs that can use that food some other way. That's the first step in diverting food waste from the trash, is to make sure that edible food is given to people who can use it. So as a recycling coordinator in, in a town like Arlington, we don't really have control over what businesses do with their waste because they contract with a private hauler. So for a resident, we can sell them a compost bin, we can give them some instructions about how to compost in their backyard, and we'll keep the residents involved with the process that the state is taking to um, start to require slowly more food diversion from our household trash. But businesses need to partner with nonprofit organizations. If they can divert some of their food waste from their trash, the business will actually save money because they'll be paying less in their trash fees. My name is Christine Connolly. I'm the Director of Health and Human Services here in the town of Arlington. Uh, through my role, I oversee a number of divisions of human services, the food pantry being one of them. Um, and through the food recovery program, we've been able to essentially divert thousands of pounds of perfectly fine food into the homes and into the hands of the needy. Uh, through the food pantry and senior housing complexes, as well as uh, the family housing projects in town and um, just through the Arlington Senior Center. So uh, essentially what happens is every day we get deliveries of food at a number of various um, locations in the community. Um, all of the senior housing complexes receive fresh fruits and vegetables from Trader Joe's. Um, the Senior Center we receive breads and pastry and fruits and vegetables depending on the day and the, the quantity available. Um, and people that are in need at the food pantry will, will go through the food pantry and. Um, receive fresh fruits and vegetables on the on the actual um, distribution day based on um, what the food recovery program is able to sort of salvage the few days before, prior to. Um, we've also been able to provide fresh bread and um, some dessert type items to people at the food pantry as well at different times of the year depending on the availability of food. Um, but it's been tremendously successful. I know food is salvaged from um, Panera as well as Trader Joe's and depending on the day, it could be Starbucks, um, Stop and Shop has given on occasion as well. Um, so the, the organizers of the food recovery program have done a tremendous job. So the organizers of the food recovery program had developed a list of policies or a list of procedures for um, the recovery of the food. So, you know, when it comes to fruits and vegetables, they discard any of the, rot, the rotten fruits and vegetables. Um, and then when bagging up bread, there's a procedure in place in order to make sure that there's no um, contamination. Uh, I also come from a public health background and I have uh, you know, uh, experience doing food inspections in the community, so um, obviously working on uh, making sure it's safe to eat is really important to, to me as well. employees feel so much better, especially at Panera. The people behind the counter are like, I'm so glad this is going somewhere because it really bothered them that these huge bags of bread were going in the trash. When a project like this takes hold in a community, 
it needs a lot of volunteers to run. And that kind of awareness that um, volunteers gain from going to a retail store like Panera and then taking the, the uh, very delicious pastries and breads and things and taking them to a community college or to a food pantry, that really starts to change the attitude of those volunteers um, about food waste, about their own consuming habits um, and maybe the consuming habits of their families and their friends and their community. And I think that's the way we really start to change our attitudes about how much food we do waste in this country and what we can do about it.